Uh, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to look at the Lonsdor K518, uh, this new key program. We're going to go through all the menus on it and um, do a little um, discovery. So this one's brand new out of the box. First thing it's doing is going to ask us for um, Wi-Fi. But before that, I'm just going to apply some power to it. So here we go here. That way it's going to have plenty of power to do everything we, we want to go through now. So you should be able to see that quite clearly. So Wi-Fi. So now we just need to select um, Wi-Fi that we want. I'll just put in the password. Okay, so now it's uh, connected to Wi-Fi. You can see all the Wi-Fi, uh, just like an Android tablet pretty much. So connected. Couldn't find server, please please connect to Wi-Fi. Well we just did. Let's go error, server response error. Okay, let's go back to Wi-Fi. It says connected up here. Uh, password, I'll just put in the password once more. Okay, so it says connected. You can see that there, that's probably the best, uh, best angle. It says connected, Wi-Fi is on. So let's go through and uh, play, press the Wi-Fi button. Okay, so it's just searching. We don't need any of that. Auth hang on, it said authenticating. Obtaining IP address. All right, connected. So we do have Wi-Fi on now. Let's go to the home menu. Can't do that. Let's go to the back menu. Uh, connection to server failed, please set up Wi-Fi, okay. Uh, so now it's found the Wi-Fi, it was a little bit slow and sluggy there, but it's found the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's indicated by this little one up the top here. We've got our battery power there. Okay, so the first thing it wants to do is an update, which is good. Apparently this does have free lifetime updates and um, no tokens are needed for this machine. So while it's doing that, it should go fairly quickly. I found this list uh, online here, and I'll just take you through this. Now this is what um, the system can't do at this time until a, new, until a new update comes along, and then maybe it can. But this was tested, and this is current as of November 2017. So these are cars that it's been tested on where it actually failed. So when we go through the menu and the list and all, it's good to just keep in mind that these particular ones have failed. It'll probably do other ones. So first one off the list is Toyota H key system. It doesn't work. BMW 2008 CAS 3. Would talk to the car but could not read its INS ID. Hyundai Elantra 2009. Did not pull the pin. Uh, 2005 Volvo uh, XC90. No OBD. Uh, I believe that's a Nissan Maxima with the twist type ignition, 2007, that one failed. Uh, 2007 Ford Edge, that one failed. 2004 Honda Odyssey, that one failed. 2011 Ford Fusion. 2006 uh, Montana v VS6, I'm not sure which one that is. Type 1 Toyota Immobilizer Reset. Um, I'm surprised about that because it does have like a little OBD programmer in here. Um, so I'm surprised it couldn't actually do that because that's just a simple matter of having the correct file and uh, Perhaps with this system because it does actually have an SD micro SD card on the back I'm wondering if you could actually just use the um, programmer which is here and um, You know send it across with your own file meaning it's just one less You know tool you got to carry around if if you can use it for that, but on saying that too um, most most other locksmiths do have an EPROM programmer if they're doing um, the Toyota number one. Uh, Mitsubishi Lancer 2015, um, Infinity, so I'm guessing that's Nissan Infinity 2010, G37, it failed on. Nissan, uh, sorry, Ford, uh, Freestar 2004, no good. 2009, VW, uh, Tigan, 
I think I'm saying that wrong, or two tug tug an uh, 2008 Mitsubishi uh, Eclipse, uh, 2003 Ford Explorer, 2008 uh, Lexus uh, ES 350, 2004 Mazda RX-8, 2015 Dodge Dart, 2013 Dodge Ram um, pull pin, 2015 Chrysler 2000, uh, 2005 Ford 500, uh, 2007 Jeep Commander, no pull pin, uh, 2008 Ford Fusion. So that's the list of cars it actually failed on. I'm saying that it's got a pretty complete list. So, um, you know, it's not really the end of, end of the world. Uh, we've got about 80, 87%. So the first thing um, it does is a download. I've also noticed with this machine here too, there's a bit of a cover here. And I believe this cover can just be pushed out and um, on some of the other videos I watched it's actually not there and you can hear it's just hollow so why it's there in the first place I have no idea and the other video we just did was uh, the unboxing one to see all the accessories basically all these parts here are all laid out and what cables and things you get and also the, the emulators here as well so there's two models you can buy of this um, <clears throat> one has everything and one is missing like the emulators or whatnot so we're just waiting for this to install, shouldn't take too much longer, and then we'll be able to go through update complete, click OK to restart. OK, restart. So with other machines, sometimes they require registration. I'm hoping this one doesn't because that'll be another sort of muck around. But it's done its update, so we should be uh, having the latest update as of December 2017. And then from there, I'll probably um, update it every now and again. Uh, just using the mobile phone as a wireless hotspot. I did watch another video too where it actually did require um, for Alexis, it did require um, Wi-Fi um, to program in these type here. So if that's the case then most likely using um, using your mobile phone as a, a hotspot to tether to this device would be applicable. Alright, registration Wi-Fi and system update. Let's just go to home. No. No, looks like we've got no choice. Uh, return system update, we've done. Uh, we don't want to do it, okay. Wi-Fi, we've got. Uh, registration. Okay, so we've got no choice here. We've actually got to um, do a new registration. So I'll just do that all very quickly. So email, name, and, um, and the keyboard's not the best. There is no uh, button to to um, get you know drop the keyboard. Uh, now it's asking for a, a pin number. Actually, we'll just change that. Now it's asking to repeat the PIN number. Verification code ver verified by email. Okay, so it sent me an email now. And I actually have to go and pull that email out. And it's given me 120 seconds to get that email to put in that code so that we can um, activate it. 120 seconds is not long. Uh, nope, still loading. Still loading. I'm going to check my junk folder just to make sure. Have emails, okay, inbox. Okay, so it sent a new, um, it sent the activation, but as of yet, I have not seen it. So that's a little bit annoying. Oh, there we are. Yep, it sent it. Five. So let me put in that code. Okay, 
pushing OK at 42 seconds to um, activation confirmation um, hello once activated your account will be bound to this device for life and you cannot be released please confirm this operation okay so basically if you sell this machine they're gonna have to use your your um, credentials Activation confirmation, please input. Uh, review, okay, dear, dear customer, your registration information is under review for five to 30 minutes. Please be patient. So there we have it. That's the first step of this machine going through and registering. Um, turning it on, hooking it onto Wi-Fi. So let's wait 30 minutes now, and we will uh, do do the next part where we do the full tour of this thing. Device sending activation code. No, we don't want any of that. Okay, thanks for watching.